Hello, my name is Todd Porter and I'm the founder of The Music Coach. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to tune your clarinet. The first thing you're going to need is a chromatic tuner, and there are two ways to get that. The easiest way is to go into an app store for a tablet or a smartphone and download either a free app or sometimes they're one or two dollars to get some sort of a chromatic tuner. The second way is to get one from a music store and they either will sit on a music stand like the one in this video or sometimes they can clip onto the bell and they have a display so you can see whether your notes are in tune or not. Once you turn the tuner on, the first thing I want you to look for is the number 440. This is really important because it's the calibration of the tuner and if that number is 438 or 445 for example it's going to make a big difference in how in tune your instrument is going to be. So you can use the calibration buttons to make sure that it displays 440. It probably will when you turn it on for the first time but I just want you to be aware of that because sometimes if you bump one of those calibration buttons and it goes off it's going to make the readings that the tuner uses not as accurate. The next important thing to know is that you're playing a B-flat concert instrument on the clarinet. So when you play a note, it's not going to display the same on the tuner as the note you're playing. So in this example, we're going to use the note C on the clarinet, and it's going to display on the tuner as a B-flat. So it's just important to be aware of that so that you don't get confused as to which note you're playing. The first note I want you to play is going to be the low C on the clarinet. And the reason is, is that you want to select a note that uses the middle of the tube. You don't want to play something that's really high up because it's only measuring how in tune the top part of the instrument is. And you also don't want to get a low note to use with your tuner either because of the same reason. It won't give you as much of an accurate reading of where the middle of the instrument is. When you play your note, I want you to not look at the tuner right away because as soon as you see what the tuner is telling you, you're going to start making adjustments to play it in tune and I want you to just become aware of where the note is really sitting. And one other important tip is to make sure to warm up your instrument before you try and get it in tune. And this is because as the instrument warms up it's going to it's going to change the pitch characteristics. So if you just pick up an instrument and blow into it with a tuner and it's cold it's going to be different than when it gets warmed up. So here I'm going to play RC and you're going to see it displayed on the tuner as B flat. <laughs> Now when the tuner measures the note, the needle, if it goes to the right, as it did in this case, it means the note is too sharp or too high. And if it goes to the left, it means the note is too low or flat. Now I'm not just gonna, I'm not gonna make any adjustments to the instrument yet because I wanna tune the note that's an octave higher. So in this case, I'm gonna use the C with the octave key to hear how it's sounding. So as I can see, the whole instrument is a little bit sharp. So what I'm going to do, I have two options. I can move the mouthpiece out a little bit or the barrel out a little bit. I'm, in this case, I'm just going to move the barrel just a little bit to make the tube slightly longer. And we'll see what happens to the sound. So even that tiny little adjustment made a huge difference. And now it went from being too sharp to being too flat. So I'm going to split the difference. So there you can see it's playing more in tune. Unfortunately, because of the way the instrument's constructed, if the whole clarinet is flat, there's not a lot you can do other than to make all the pieces fit together as tightly as possible. And then you have to use your embouchure to make the notes play sharper. Remember to head on over to yourmusiccoach.com for a free beginner clarinet lesson. Thanks for stopping by and I look forward to seeing you soon.